All right, so next thing we will be doing is our materials, or our lighting. So I'll quickly show you quick lighting, a very quick and very simple lighting system that works. Let's go under Systems, under your Create Panel under Systems, Daylight. This will pop up saying that it, since you're using mental ray rendering, it will say, do you want to use a mental ray photography, photographic exposure control? Just hit yes. This is very default, but it works very well. And then just click, drag out your compass, click and drag out your daylight system, your light, where it comes from. Go in the modify panel and make sure that your sun is MR sky. We'll let that finish out. Since we are using the mental ray renderer, we need the mental ray sun and the mental ray sky. This pops up, it says you're creating in a mental ray sky, and yes, we want this to be done automatically. Very simple, but we want it done. It makes everything look a lot better. If you didn't get both of those pop-ups, you can go into your effects and environment dialog box by using hotkey 8, or just going under rendering environment right there. And you can set up your environment map here in MR Physical Sky, so you just click on it, and it would come up with the same dialog box that it does right here and you would just select MR Physical Sky from it. And if your exposure control didn't come up, it would might, it'll be set here, no exposure control. What you do is you go to make sure that's MR Photographic Exposure Control, make sure it's active. And then under the exposure value, it's like 15. The rest can be the same because nothing really actually changes. So we can close out that now. And we will do a quick render here, just to show you the difference that very simple lighting can do. It looks much better now. And now let's make sure that our lighting is actually just a few tweaks that makes it better. I like putting my softness on my shadows up to two because, I mean, light doesn't isn't always hard, especially sunlight. There's a lot of ambient light around there. It makes it softens up the shadows a bit. Now I'll make my horizon lower because if you saw in our render, the horizon was really high and you could see it and you don't really want to see it. Even if we're if we're going to go into a camera view, so probably what, like this will be our camera view. Something close to the mirror, but nothing too far away. Now I have to do a bit more fine zooming. So just go into your zoom tool down here, and then set it up nicely. So something like that. I'll go hit Q to go back to just my select tool. And I'll do a quick render at this angle. And you can still see the ground plane. So what we want to do is under our daylight, under our daylight, we will drop the ground plane about negative 0.5. So something about that. And then re render this out. And as you see, the ground plane is now below our plane that we have our mirror on. Now, we will also set the haze in the sky to about 0.25 so it's not perfectly clear and that just looks, it looks awkward when it's perfectly clear. And that is everything for our everything for our rendering of it. Now we will just bake the animation of the dynamics into it. Something like when this simulates out. And we'll bake that into an animation quickly. And then, I like that, how that falls right there. Whee! Slowing down for some reason. That's probably my computer. But, that falls like that, and it looks good. So let's bake this animation. First, I actually want to set the frames of the animation properly. I can see it goes way over 100 frames. It just does. Like if you go over here, yeah, it really slows down. It's way over 100 frames. So what I'll do is set my frames about 200, 250, until something that so the length is 250, or you can set the end time to 250, or the frame count to 250. Really. If you change any of these length frame count or end time, it will set the end time to 250 or 200 or whatever frame count you want. So, now let's bake in the animation. Go into your Mass Effects tool but right here. Go under Tools and go Bake All. You'll see Mass Effects baking down here. It's just going through, baking everything. And then I just let it catch up again because Rendering out that stuff and baking out that stuff is actually pretty intensive on the computer. So now you can see it just falling apart. It's all keyframed in. And we got a little bit of an end there, but I mean, it looks good enough. There is a bit of a drop of it like that when it hits because it's above the plane a bit, but no one will really notice it. So it's not a big deal. 
what we can do to just get around it, well, no, since it's baked, we can't do that. So what we can do is go under Mass Effect Tools, unbake everything, so unbake all, move up this just a touch, so make sure our mirror doesn't fall as much as it did, and then hit bake all again. Since it's a shorter animation, we can get away with doing that. If it was a longer animation, we would have to make sure that each and every dynamic is proper before we bake it out. So we'll press play. You can see it breaking, and then it just kind of all collapses down, which actually looks kind of nice. And there we go. That is our mirror that breaks. So let's quickly render this out, and we will be done. Save it out. Go rendering, render setup. I'll use a few quick things that I find work well. So I just use 10, 720p, 1280 by 720, 720p. Uh, active time segments since you want all of them. Then you'll want to save your file to wherever you want to save it. I'm going to go under my documents, 3ds Max, tutorials, mirror, renders. I already have something set up there. I'm going to start with frame. Because I already have something in there, it will overwrite it. I'll make sure it's a ping and use system's default gamma. So you press save. I just use RGB 24 bit because it gets compressed, it really doesn't change anything. Don't use the alpha channel, keep the alpha channel turned off because if you turn it on, then the background will render out and it won't look pretty like it does right now. It'll just be a black background, which is not the best looking background. Now we will go under the render elements. And this is anti-aliasing quality, so this just makes it better quality. 4 and 64 I can do because of my higher end computer. Usually if you have a s slower computer, I would just use 1 and 16. But since this is my computer, I will go 4 and 64. Use Mitchell filter type, just 4 and 4 again. It's the best one I've found. And use 2 default shadow precision. Nothing really changed. Let's go into indirect illumination. We don't need to worry about final gather right now since we only have one simple light in there. We don't have to worry about bounces of lights that Final Gather actually does for us. That will do in probably another tutorial. We'll drop this down here. Global illumination, we don't have that turned on, so we really don't matter. And now everything is ready to be rendered out. So thank you very much for yes, I'll for a, thank you very much for watching the tutorial and I hope you learned something. And I hope you enjoyed it and we'll be back for more when I make more of these. So thank you very much and see you next time.